I finally got my hands on the collector's edition guide for Elden Ring from Future Press, and these things are amazing. It's no secret that I love Elden Ring, so when I saw these go up for pre-order, I didn't hesitate. These are a two volume set that come with all the details you could want of the Lance Between. I actually bought the first one thinking that it would have a bestiary, but after receiving it in the mail, I would learn that it would only be in the second volume. The first volume starts with a systems guide, which runs you through how all of the game systems like character creation, game saving, combat, and everything else works. A world guide, which breaks down how the entire world of Elden Ring is presented, offering succinct breakdowns of each location and what's hidden in each area, and a breakdown of each ending, and a flowchart of how to get them. A dungeon guide, which lays out all the details, item, and enemy placement of all the legacy dungeons in the game, and finally a quest guide, walking you through all of the NPC quests in the game and laying out where the NPCs intersect with each other. There are tons of quests and side quests in this game that are super easy to miss if you don't know about them, so it's super helpful in attempting to not miss any of them. This section also gives you some quick backstory and description of the main NPCs in the world, which is always some of my favorite to read. After spending 100 plus hours in the game, it's fun to refresh your memory of the characters you've met and might have forgotten about. Also in this section is the world history, which lays out as much detail there is for you in regards to the history of the lands between, offering up all of the item descriptions that form the pieces of the puzzle that is the history of the lands between. The first volume also came with an awesome large map poster, which one side has the location of each side of Grace, and the other side having a clean view of all the maps in the game, including the main above ground map and the below ground areas. The second volume starts with a combat guide that carefully breaks down the intricacies of the combat system and the stats that affect the flow of combat. There's a bestiary, which is my favorite section, that lays out and describes all of the enemies in the game, from the easiest early enemies to the final bosses and everything in between, providing a small backstory or history of the enemy and what role they serve in the world, as well as engagement strategy, plans for attack that can come in handy when taking on a really tough enemy or boss, including prep strategies, how the environment plays into the fight, and the best way to fight them, including a breakdown of each phase for the bosses and enemies that have multiple. It even breaks down the special enemies like the scarabs, wandering mausoleums, and enemies that man ballistas and what have you. It also includes a section on all of the equipment in the game, breaking down weapon, armor, and magic stats, as well as all of the talismans and other various pieces of equipment. The final chapter of the guide, called Extras, is where you will find details on how to best utilize certain weapons, create effective builds, farm runes, and how to tackle the New Game Plus cycles. At the very end of the book, you will find an exclusive interview Future Press did with Hidetaka Miyazaki that touches on the design, success, and storytelling of Elden Ring from the perspective of its creator and director. Instead of a map, this volume came with a small bundle of prints, which are equally as cool as the map in my opinion. Future Press really does go above and beyond when they put together their guides. They work closely with the creators, carefully making sure all the detail they can include is there, and that no stone goes unturned. The amount of care and attention to detail is present from when you first crack open the books. The build of the books are very solid. The hardcover binding feels very solid. These volumes are pretty weighty too. The high gloss paper feels really nice and makes it easy to separate pages while perusing the contents. Overall, these are a great addition to any Elden Ring fans collection and a valuable asset to have on the shelf while tackling the game, whether it's your first playthrough or your seventh. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. Let me know if you liked the video in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.